This particular Bible was published in, in 1905. Now, the reason I brought it out is that I, I want to show a map that's in this Bible. Now, mind you, um, the Schofield Bible was not published until 1913. Right. And I have in my office an original 1913 Schofield, uh, which was the introduction of the Zionist Masonic heresies about a future state of Israel and separating the church from Israel and all that rapture stuff. That's where it came from. It was a Masonic Zionist heresy that was introduced into the American churches in 1913. This is a 1905 Bible. Pre-Schofield. Pre-Schofield with no Schofield notes in it. So you open it up. And uh, this is on page 13. I mean, this thing's big. Uh, I want to show you. Here is, <laughs> here is a map of the Holy Land. And it says, what? Oh, Palestine oh, of the Holy Land. They misspelled Israel. No. Palestine. <laughs> Palestine. Huh. And all these Christian Zionists that tell me, Rick, there's never been a Palestine. All right. So here's a still. There it is. Let's That's zoom the, in and show you here. Yeah. So, yeah, you hear these people like John Hagee. There's never been a Palestine. Well, look at this Bible map from 1905. And, most, and, and most Bibles yes. from then had a map of Palestine. Palestine. And Palestine is in the Bible itself in the Old Testament. So we're showing you this just because I'm trying to break through the propaganda the confusion, the lies that the Zionists have implanted in millions of minds of Christians in America and told them there's never been a place called Palestine. But I have a map, Rick. Right there it is. So with that in mind, do you know who lived in Palestine? Uh, Palestinians? Palestinians. Hmm. I got that one right. Palestinians. And Palestinians were... Jewish, Christian, and Muslim. And Muslim. Right. They, they weren't a particular faith. They were citizens of a particular country. Palestine. Palestine. They were all Palestinians. Yes. Jesus was a Palestinian. Look at this. Okay. So Israel has never meant a political country. It's always meant the people of God. Yes. The called out ecclesia, the people of God. That's what Israel means. It's not a political country. With that in mind, we, we're going to show you some of the uh, scenes of the violence that's taking place in Palestine uh, this week. Because here's what's happened in the night following the 1917 Jewish Bolshevik revolution in Russia, where the Jewish Bolsheviks went in and slaughtered the Romanov families in a satanic ritual, imposed communism on Russia, killed hundreds of thousands, literally millions, millions of Christians, hundreds of thousands of of Christian Orthodox pastors and burned their churches and just a horrible attack on the Russian church in 1917 and afterwards. Then they began to infiltrate Palestine mm. in the 1920s and the 30s. In the 1930s, there was a congressman in Texas, Lyndon B. Johnson, and he was smuggling guns and rockets and grenades from Texas to Palestine, putting them in the hands of the Jewish communist terrorists that were infiltrating Palestine. The, there was no Israel, no state of Israel. It was Palestine. And they crow about that. They, that's not a you know conspiracy theory. That's right from the Lyndon B. Johnson Library. The crates, the crates were called. They were marked Texas grapefruits. The the grenades. They were shipped as Texas grapefruits. The same grapefruits that blew up the King David Hotel. Right. So 
to the 1920s, the 30s, and into the 40s, the uh, European Ashkenazis invaded Palestine, infiltrated. The Arabs, Christian, Muslim, and uh, Jewish, all Palestinians, Mm -hmm. were alarmed by the arrival of the communist Ashkenazis from Europe. The so-called Jewish settlers were killing. They killed the Jewish residents of Palestine. Yes. Do you and understand the that? Too. They killed the Jews who lived in Palestine. They killed Christians. They killed Muslims. They finally got enough critical mass that they had enough numbers that they took over Palestine and declared their independence in 1948 And Harry S. Truman, a 33rd degree Freemason, quickly recognized this new country as a real country. And that's how we got to 1948 and the state of Israel. There's never been peace in the Middle East since that day. That day is marked by all Palestinians as a day of disaster. Napka. Napka. A day of disaster. The disaster continues to this day. The Ashkenazis invaders continue to take the land, the homes of the Palestinians who have resisted, refused to leave their houses, refused to leave their farms. It's not about Palestinians trying to chase out Jews. It's Jews who are trying to chase out Palestinians. And to this day, since 1948, they're still fighting them, trying to make them leave. Right. 